Obviously, pouring a coffee through the coffee again is not the solution. That's because it takes too long, and then by the time your coffee is done brewing, it's going to be kind of cold, maybe even frozen. It's not worth it. So it's not really the point of the last experiment. What I, instead, what I'm working on is creating a two-pour method where the first part of the pour is for texture and the second part is for clarity. So the last video, I showed you guys that the, the coffee bed acts as a filter for itself. So the larger the first pour is, the more texture you will have. The, the second pour is for clarity. Now, personally speaking, I like to have a very heavy texture coffee. So I'm looking to have a large first pour balanced by a larger ratio to have more of a clarity in my brew. Now, the problem with having a larger ratio will be that you're going to have more chances of clogging your bed. Clogged beds have more channeling. You're going to have an over-extracted top, under-extracted bottom. It's just uneven extraction. So you don't really want to deal with that. So what I've come up with is a solution for this. There's two ways to do it. The first way is to do a bypass where you add the water directly into a brewed coffee, or the second way is to kind of almost have a slightly under-extracted first large pour, and then having your second pour to bring out everything that you missed. Now, for me to have a really heavy first kind of extraction, I want to have an elongated kind of first drip, which means I'm gonna grind finer, uh, use a smaller dripper, and then I'm going to pour from a lower point. This allows me to have less agitation as I'm brewing, um, but have a longer first drip, which gives me a very first strong first drip. So we're gonna pack the beans a little bit tighter, um, and then we're gonna do a one to 12 ratio where I pour really slowly, and then at the 25 second mark, I'm gonna give it a stir at the very bottom. This helps me make sure that there's no clumping at the bottom, and then I'm not gonna move to the edges, I'm just gonna stay in the middle, and then we're going to give it a quick stir only at the top. Now once that has drained, I'm going to do another two parts directly into here, very slow, and you only pour in the middle. There's no agitation needed on the second, on the second pour if you pour straight down the middle. This allows it to get all the way to the bottom, everything that needs to float will float, and then you're gonna just fully extract everything that's missing. And then I'm gonna do a two-part bypass at the very end. So this is the current technique that I'm working on. This is like midway through my discovery journey. I think there's some things, fundamentals, that I can still kind of discover and um, share with you guys. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. This, this last week I've learned more than I have in the last six months before that. So, and it's all thanks to you guys commenting and asking me to kind of create a, a two-part brew. And, you know, it's actually pushed me to become a better barista. Now, if you want to discover more of your own preferred brewing method, um, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get the latest updates on my newest techniques. And while you're at it, make sure to like the video because that helps me out a lot. And as always, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!